In this video, I will be performing a mass balance of a distillation column. And on the right, you'll see the schematic of a distillation column. It looks complicated, but you don't have to worry much about the things that are going on within this diagram, except for the flows in and the flows out. The flow coming into this process is the feed, or F, with a mole fraction of one of the components of XF. Then there's the overhead product, or D, mole fraction of XD, and the bottom product, B, with a mole fraction of XB. We can draw this diagram in a simple form of a block diagram with F coming in, D going out, and also B going out. We can write the general mass balance equation for this unit as simply F equals to D plus B, or in other words, whatever that comes in is equals to whatever mass that goes out. We can also write another mass balance equation, but for the moles, or for the amounts of one of the components in the process. By using the mole fraction, uh, we know that the mole fraction of one of the components in the feed is xf, thus xf times f is the amount of mole of that one component in f equals to xd times d plus xb times b, thus this equation shows the amount of moles of one of the components coming in should equals to the amount of moles going out of the unit. The distillation column can be separated into two sections. One is the top and the bottom section, or in other words, the rectifying section and the stripping section. We can write two different mass balance equations for these two sections, and these mass balance equations are called operating lines. Thus, there are two operating lines, one for the rectifying section and the other for the stripping section. Let's derive the mass balance of the rectifying section of the distillation column, and this mass balance equation will be called the rectifying section operating line. The top part of the distillation column has a reflux section that diverts some of the product back into the column to increase the overall concentration of the top product. We don't have to perform mass balance for this reflux section, we just need to perform the mass balance for the entire top section of the, distill of the rectifying section, which means that you only perform the material balance for this section here. Now, let's, let's define some symbols. The top product is called D, and the mole fraction of D is XD. We can also define the symbols for the reflux line, but we won't be using it in the final mass balance equation. We name the line that funnels the sum of the top product back into the distillation column as LD, and the Move fraction of LD is also XD, similar to this because this line is separated simply into two parts and the composition of these two parts will be the same. Now the lines coming in to the distillation column from the bottom is the vapor line and the vapor flow can be not denoted as Vn plus 1 with a mole fraction of Yn plus 1 while the liquid coming down we denote as Ln with a mole fraction of X. N. So to form a mass balance of this section of the distillation column, we just need to budget the incoming flow and the outcoming flow. We know that the mass coming in should equal to the mass going out, so Vn plus 1 multiply with the mole fraction, which means the total mole of the component in the vapor flow should be equal to the amount of moles that flows down the column in the form of liquid and also the number of moles of that component that goes out of the rectifying section of the distillation column. So to write it in equation form is just like so, Vn plus 1 times Yn plus 1 equals 2 Ln times Xn plus D Xd. Rearranging this equation to be a subject of Yn plus 1, it becomes Yn plus 1 equals Ln xn 
over Vn plus 1 plus dxd over Vn plus 1. We can also substitute Vn plus 1 with something that is that just includes the liquid flow flowing down and also the distillate or the top product going out. We can substitute substitute that by conducting a general mass balance equation on the on this section, which is Vn plus 1 should equal to Ln plus D. And substituting this equation into this part, then we will come to our final operating line of the rectifying section, which is Yn plus 1 equals 2. We can do the same thing for the stripping section. First, let's assign symbols to all of the flows. The one coming out here is the bottom product, which is B, with a mole fraction of XB. The vapor that's coming up here is Vm plus 1, with a mole fraction of Ym plus 1. And the liquid flowing down is Lm with a mole fraction of x m. Performing a mass balance on this section would result in this equation Vm plus 1 Ym plus 1 plus B x B equals Lm x m. Now rearranging the equation for Ym plus 1, we'll get Ym plus 1 equals to Lm xm minus B xb divide by Vm plus 1 and Vm plus 1 here. Now just like before, we know that Lm is equals to Vm plus 1 plus B. So Vm plus 1 is equals to Lm minus B and substituting this equation into this one and also this one will give us Ym plus 1 equals to Lm Lm minus B Xm minus B Lm minus B Xb and this is the operating line of the stripping section of the distillation column. Now using the operating lines, the stripping section and the rectifying section operating lines that we derived before, it is possible to estimate or to determine the number of ideal or theoretical plates needed in a distillation column. But this is the ideal or theoretical number of plates and, and it could deviate from the actual number of plates needed to make the design practical or applicable in real world situations, the number of plate design would need to account for stage efficiency or plate efficiency. And there's three types of efficiency. One is the overall efficiency, there's the Murphy efficiency, and there's also the local efficiency. But for this particular course, IEK213, mass transfer and separation processes, the syllabus only covers the ideal or theoretical method to determine the number of plates. This is a very popular method to determine the ideal or theoretical number of plates in a distillation column. And we call this the macab teal graphical method. It's graphical because we need to use a graph paper to determine the number of plates. Now in this method, we need to plot the XY diagram or the equilibrium curve and from there we need to also plot the two operating lines and also the feed line. The two operating lines which are the stripping and the rectifying section operating lines and also another line called the feed line. To plot the equilibrium curve we need to know the x, the mole fraction in the liquid form and the mole fraction in the gas form at equilibrium. And from previous videos, you know that to estimate this curve, we have two different methods, either by using the combination of Raoult's law, Dalton's law, and Henry's law, or to use the relative volatility method, which means to use the alpha constant. Now, a few definitions, uh, like in the absorption column, 
L would stand for liquid and V for vapor. And these are not in mass flow rate units, but they are in molar flow rates units. It means that it is mole per time. And these two symbols are for the rectifying section. But for the stripping section, we use LB. L is still for, for liquid and V is still for vapor. And they are in molar flow rates. But these symbols are used for the stripping section. Now one assumption that we need to make to use this graphical method is that the molar or the molar flow rates are constant. That means the LV, LB, and VB are the same on all plates, irrespective of whether they're in the rectifying section or in the stripping section or at different plate numbers of the distillation column. Now we can use the reflux ratio or RD as a way to simplify the rectifying section operating line. R or RD can be defined as L over D, which means that it is a ratio between the liquid flow flowing down and the distillate moving out of the distillation column. The rectifying section operating line is And assuming that the molar flow rate, so the molar flow rate is constant, that means ln is equals to L, and we can substitute this into this equation to become this. And also by dividing each term here with D, you will get this. In which we'll be able to reduce this because L over D is equals to R this becomes R this also becomes R R and R and the rectifying section operating line becomes a simplified version of this equation that only consists of the reflux ratio and the mole fractions